a lot of changes going on here. My desk is sort of chaotic. My office is kind of chaotic. Everything's being packed up. The move is underway. Today's video, I just wanted to talk briefly about insurance. That's my cell phone. In today's video, I just wanted to talk briefly about insurance for photographers. So many photographers when starting out don't realize that the importance of insurance and they don't even think about the many types of insurance that's available to them that they should be using. So I want to spend five minutes or so just quickly talking about uh, the, the insurance that's available and my recommendation of where to go for your insurance. So the first type of insurance is uh, equipment insurance and there's two ways to go about this in my opinion. The first is getting equipment insurance tied to your um, to your property insurance, which we'll talk about in a little bit, or your home insurance. If you don't have a physical studio and you work out of your house, property insurance or your, your home insurance. So the home insurance company I use does not offer um, equipment insurance specifically. They actually offer um, the ability to add on just, you know, items like jewelry and things like that. So I've added my photography equipment into the cost of the items that I have in my house uh, being stored that way. The other way to get equipment insurance is to go to a company that specifically offers equipment insurance for photographers. So. I'm a member of PPA, Professional Photographers of America, and they offer equipment ins insurance just with their plan, and then it, depending on how much equipment you have, how expensive it is, you might need to upgrade to a to their PLUS pr program, which gives you uh, a little bit higher insurance. So there's the options, right? The next is general liability. This basically, if something happened, if you were injured, or if you lost a memory card, or your hard drive crashed, and you just lost all the footage, um, anything like that, that's what liability insurance is for. And again, um, the, the insurance that comes with PPA, they give you liability insurance and then you can actually upgrade to uh, something else if you need to pay for more. But they give you liability insurance and they cover all the legal expenses in that insurance, which is fantastic. So just by joining PPA, uh, you're, if you're in America, uh, that is, you're getting it. So if you're not in America, just check with your countries and your locals photography associations to see if they partnered with any insurance companies to give you anything because even if they don't give it to you they might have partnered with somebody that is already set up ready for you in your area which is which is great the next is uh, automobile insurance so if you're using your vehicle for your photography services which hopefully you are you know getting to your your jobs in some way, uh, you need insurance on your vehicle, right? So it, being that I'm a freelancer, I just use my uh, regular car and then I expense it. So I have my car insurance on my car. I don't have commercial automobile insurance. I just have my standard uh, automobile insurance. But if I was full-timer uh, on, on, on photography, then I would, of course, uh, get commercial-based automobile insurance. It's extremely important. Next is property insurance. I mentioned this earlier. Just like if you were photographing a building, you would want to get a, a property release um, so that you can use that. You also want property insurance for your own building and that protects yourself if there's some sort of damage or anything like that. Um, you can protect yourself that way. The last piece of insurance I want to mention is life insurance. Now this is one of those morbid topics to talk about. I have multiple life insurance plans uh, for myself so that I can protect my family in case something ever happened to me. Um, we all will pass away eventually, so it, even though it's a morbid topic to talk about, it's inevitable. It's life. Thing, that, that's going to happen. So uh, you need to think about the future. And there's life insurance that you can get that's affordable. There's life insurance that's more expensive, but, but better plans. So it's all just, you gotta do your research. Contact a, a broker that's on your side, not just a salesperson. Um, find brokers who uh, will care about you and your, your decision and understand your finances. 
because otherwise they're just gonna sell you something and it might not be good for you and your family. If you would like more advice on insurance, I'm gonna link in the description below to the best article on this um, with more resources from my friend Rachel Branke of The Law Talk. I will link to this article and uh, in it she also has some products. She makes templates, uh, legal templates for photographers and she even has a template, um, what does she call it? She calls it Oh Snap. So it's uh, if you don't have disability insurance, which is really another form of insurance, then the OSNAP uh, will help you to plan out your own disability insurance. So she's got all these different products available, legal templates for photographers, and I definitely recommend checking that out. And of course, if you want to learn more about insurance overall, she's a fantastic resource to learn more in detail about insurance. Um, and she offers more recommendations and things like that. So by the way, you should also have health insurance. <laughs> so if you don't have health insurance, you need to get that. So she also has an article on health called uh, Health Insurance for Photographers 101. So I'm gonna link to two articles, Health Insurance for Photographers 101, and then her other one, Six Insurance Tips Photographers Need. I'm gonna link to both of those in the description below. Please be sure to check that out if you wanna learn more about insurance. You need insurance as a professional photographer. Professional photographers, need many forms of insurance that is business and if you don't care about the insurance you shouldn't be in business so 